super excited today because this is my first ever YouTube video. My first project for this channel is going to be my entryway. I thought this was a good project because this is the first room that you see when you walk in the house. So this would be a nice starter project. So I moved into this house about a year and a half ago with my husband. Um, and for that entire year and a half, this entryway was a very lovely shade of yellow. We painted the room white and it just made it look a lot brighter and a lot nicer. I don't have the painting on camera because that was before I decided to start my channel, but I will have all the decorating and all the fun stuff for you on camera. Right now, we have, there's way too much going on in here. Like we walk in, we throw our shoes everywhere, whatever we have on hand, we just dump it in this little shelf here. As you can see, this nice little screwdriver. What's that doing here? I don't know. I want to get rid of any unnecessary shelving space because that just gives us like room to throw whatever we want on there. So I'm going to move everything that I have on this shelf out into my entrance closet and I'm going to just keep it really clean and minimal here. So for this room, I definitely want to replace the stool that I currently have with a really nice spacious bench. And I'll also be making some art to put above the bench. On the other side, I'm going to put a little wall shelf with some hooks underneath so that I can hang any um, typically used items like my purse or a hat or something like that. For this entryway makeover, I'm going to be doing a lot of really fun DIYs. And here's all the stuff that I'm going to be using in those DIYs. You can subscribe to my channel so that you can see when I post part 2 and part 3 of this video so that you can see how I transformed all of these items for this entryway makeover. So first things first, I just have to get all the old furniture and all the old items out of here. So the old stool that I had in here is replaced with this beautiful bench that I DIY'd. Uh, stay tuned for part two of this video where I'll show you how I DIY'd this bench. hooks from Ikea. These are the Skugas hooks. If you have a boring room where you just want a quick little change to lift it up a little bit, cute hooks like these can really make that difference. So the first DIY is a bit of an easier DIY um, and it's going to be just to decorate this basket. So this is the regular basket that you can get from Ikea but it's a little bit plain so I'm just going to add a little bit of fringe to the side of the basket here just to give it a little bit of personality. To start this off I'm just going to take a piece of cooking twine that is the length of one side of the basket from the middle of one handle to the other and then I'm going to double that and tie them together. Okay we're good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my string and I'm going to measure from the top of the basket to the midpoint of the basket where there's this fold right here because that's going to be the longest point of my fringe and it's going to taper upwards in like a triangle towards the sides. I'm going to measure that and add maybe like about another inch just for leeway and then I'm going to double that as well. I'm just going to go ahead and cut a few of these so that I can make my fringe with it. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take one of the strings that we've just cut, you're going to fold it in half, and then you're going to take the looped side, put it over the string that's holding all the fringe, and then you're going to take the loose ends and pull them around and through the loop. And then it's going to create little fringe like this. So I'm just going to repeat this with all the strings that I cut. I think there were probably about 50 in total, so I just put on some music and did this over and over and over again. Now that I'm 
done with the fringe, I'm just going to flip it over the other way around so that the hoops over here, I'm not sure what this knot is called, I'm sure somebody who knows macrame can help me out with that. Um, but so this hoop over here, I want that to be facing the front because it just gives it a little bit of a nicer design. I was going to put like a black fringe on top of this, but I think I'm just going to dip dye it instead of adding black fringe on top. Okay, so to dip dye this, I don't have any fabric dye, but instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of acrylic paint and I'm going to mix it up with water and see if that works. So my fringe for my basket has pretty much dried, um, almost, I'm just not so patient, so I'm gonna do it now anyways. And I just got this piece of wood here to use as a straight edge to help me cut this, the fringe on a diagonal. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this fringe and I'm gonna tie each end to each of these hoops on the basket. no room is complete without a gallery wall so I made some easy DIY art for this room it was super easy and fun to make I'll be posting how I made these paintings in part 3 of this series so subscribe to my channel and stay tuned this wine bottle right here and I just want to give them a little bit more style so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray paint the tops gold so just the tops like right here the top of this vase and the stem of this wine bottle I'm gonna spray paint that in gold so before I spray paint I'm just gonna tape off whatever um, I don't want to be sprayed okay I've just sprayed these off camera and now I'm just gonna be taking off the tape turned out. It's pretty much exactly what I envisioned. 
Um, it's like a nice modern but boho look so I'm really really happy about that and I especially like the paintings that I made. If you want to see how I made these paintings, subscribe to my channel where I'll be posting part 2 and part 3 of this entryway makeover. I'll be posting DIY and home decor videos once a week every Sunday. I hope you like this entryway makeover and if you did, just click on the like button to let me know that you liked it just as much as I did and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more fun DIYs and room makeovers just like this one. And comment down below what your favorite part of this room makeover was. Thanks for watching! Bye guys!